what's going on everybody you already know who it is it is your boy the giant dude here and in today's video we're going to be going over my windows control panel settings basically we're going to be going through this real quick my previous video it was about the graphics that i used in call of duty modern warfare um my graphic settings and these are going to be my window settings so going down we use the advanced 3d image settings we we'll make sure you have this enabled then we're going to go through manage 3d settings basically i have everything off besides anti-aliasing gamma correction um i just I, I left that on you can turn it off if you want but i just left it on as default and these are all the settings right here so i'm gonna go down slowly like basically the important things are is your nvidia uh gt or your in what graphics card your open rendering gpu you want to select the graphics card that you use in your power management mode you want to set to max performance give you the best performance possible preferred pre refresh rate you want to keep this at the highest available don't put it on application control put it as highest available driver default uh, for the shader cache and that's pretty much it when it comes to uh the these settings right here oh virtual sync you want this turned off and your pre-rendered frames you can keep this at one i kept this at one as default um yeah, just keep that at default vertical sync off. I don't like vertical state sync. And if you have a, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So then we go to configure surround sound physics. Um, I don't really, I didn't touch this at all. Change resolution. I have my 1920 by 1080p BenQ Zowie 240 hertz. Um, and I use the default color settings on here. And that's pretty much it. Adjust desktop type size and uh, color settings. Basically what this is going to be, you're going to adjust your monitor first and then this. And basically this is what I use, digital vibrance. I like having my games be a little bit more vibrant. So 55 to 60, uh, 60 actually works pretty good on this BenQ monitor. Your gamma is basically how bright the game is. Okay, so your gamma correction. Um, is basically going to be how like bright the screen is, right? Your contrast, a lot of people like to play on a higher contrast. Uh, I personally think leaving it at like 55, I like to see gray. So if right here, you can see the gray as I turn this up, I don't know if that shows it, but I can't see it's like white now. So I keep the contrast like around 52, 55. Brightness, this is the brightness of like your screen. Um, personally, around 55 to 60 for me, like I said, I'm on my BenQ monitor right now, so it's really good when it comes to like brightness and all that. Uh, and then digital vibrance, like we can keep that like at 60 and then my brightness at 55. Yep. So, and then you just want to make sure you hit apply to all the changes that you're making. Rotate display. I don't rotate my display. This, I don't bother with this. Um, this is my Elgato that I have. And basically this is the adjust desktop size and position. I use no scaling and I have it on my display. Some of you might not have this, keeping it on GPU is okay. And make sure your refresh rate is about the same. Set up multiple monitors. These are my monitors right here. So uh, if you have another monitor and it's like this, make sure to drag that down like that because you don't want to, uh, like especially with like, if you're using a dual PC setup, if you're using a single monitor setup, like it's fine like this or like this, right? Um, so say you have like two monitors. This is a virtual monitor. My monitor two is a virtual monitor from my Elgato. I just have one main display monitor. But if I had another monitor here, I would keep my Elgato down here and I would move like, it'll look something like this. Like my Elgato's here and then I'll have my other monitor over here. So I move left and that's my uh, other monitor. But since this is a virtual monitor, I don't want to like go over to it on like another screen so i keep it down like that that's why i never have to worry about like when i swipe or something off screen right i have to go down to the corner to even get to this screen so it's a virtual screen and uh oh there we go it's a virtual screen and uh i don't worry about it uh just color size and settings uh use nvidia settings and then gamma advanced you want to go full rgb and you want to apply okay this is the full range, the full color settings. Uh, adjust video desktop or adjust video image sizes. I keep this at default and that's about it guys. That's my whole uh, NVIDIA control panel settings. 
Um, hopefully this helped you guys out and will help you with uh, getting more FPS in your games. As always, guys, I'm going to stay blessed and humble, and I'll catch you in another video. Peace.